Hi, today I want to speak about the perks and disadvantages of having a Great Dane. I made this video with GoPro 7 Black. When me and my boyfriend, we were deciding to have a dog, we really went into research and we wanted to have a Cane Corso and then we thought about having a Golden Retriever. But first of all, we thought about having a Great Dane. And that happened because we saw some really cool videos on YouTube about Great Danes. And I thought that they were really, really funny. And uh, we just dropped the idea because we thought that Great Danes are super large breeds and that, that it would be really impossible to cope with it. It happens to be that one catery had puppies. So I said to my boyfriend that we have to go and check out the puppies at least and then we can make the decision. Uh, I got to touch the father and the mother of Cinnamon. I really felt inspired. Cinnamon is currently nine months old. He's considered to be blue Great Dane because his coat is slightly gray and he has some small white dots on his coat. First of all, I didn't know that Scooby-Doo, one of my favorite cartoons of all time, uh, this dog is actually a Great Dane. He's not the bravest dog in the world and he's always hungry. Great Danes are mostly hunting dogs and they were bred to be hunters. One of the largest breeds of dogs ever and they are called gentle giants and they are super affectionate and they are good in family with the children so that's why we considered this breed amongst other breeds. He's really, really playful. And he will use the chance to play with you every time you will invite him to do that. He's the only dog I have ever seen who sits on the couch uh, the way he does. And I really find that funny. About my dog, his name is Cinnamon. Uh, and in Latvian, it's called Canelis. We had to choose a name for the dog, starting with the letter C and I didn't want to have a name Caesar or other typical dog names, so I called him Cinnamon and I think he's happy about that. <laughs> All the time I get a lot of questions about having this dog. Currently we are living in Riga in Latvia in the city in a pretty small apartment and before that we were living in a trailer in an open field with uh, no electricity and we were uh, having our fun summer days playing in the river and in the field but now we are kind of stuck in the city again but I have to say that uh, the dog is really flexible and he can relate to everything we do so if we need to live in the city he will do that and if we will go to the countryside again I think he will be happy again when you're walking on the street with a huge sized dog you will definitely drag a lot of attention and sometimes it is i have to say quite annoying because maybe you are going somewhere and you maybe are late and there are people who literally are crossing the street just to touch your dog and to have a small chat i love to interact and to tell people about this dog but sometimes that is not the place and the right time. He is also really into making new friendships and he loves that people are coming to him. He's not afraid of them. He loves to get cuddles all the time. If you want to leave the dog at home from 9 to 5 p.m. and just uh, go and do your stuff and then come home, it's not the breed for you because this dog really requires attention. And I'm a musician and I have to like uh, adapt to different kind of schedules so I said it's okay I can I can take care of the dog because I, I don't have a daily job and sometimes when I'm having a concert or uh, usually I'm working during evenings or even nights uh, then we can manage and we can cope so I'm trying to drag this dog all around the city in my car when I'm walking everywhere and even though Maybe it's not the best thing, but I better drag the dog with me everywhere rather than uh, let him stay at Hanaliti. You can't say nothing. 
and I have a really really tiny small car Toyota Igo which I have a vlog about and uh, it's pretty interesting that this big dog actually fits in the back seat of this car he has a short coat but it sheds I can't say that there is fur all over the apartment but definitely there is part of his fur first I was quite annoyed about it because you have to clean your apartment daily like literally every day and you would get like this fur all around the house and it would stick in the furniture and everywhere but the, the problem was solved and I'm really a fan of iRobots the little vacuum cleaners that are going around the house and cleaning up the house every two weeks we are cleaning the ears and it is a must because uh, he has really big ears and you have to help him take care of the ears we cut the nails but as we are walking a lot and there was a long period of time when he was like living in this nature side i didn't really feel the need to cut his nails as he's digging holes and he really needs those nails so um, this is not a must and uh, you can consider doing that if you really want we bought a special coat for winter so we had to modify the front part of this coat a little bit because it was too small for this big puppy although we bought the largest coat possible living in the apartment there are many people who ask me if it's okay to have this dog living in an apartment and i have to say that of course i would love to be somewhere on the countryside and i know that cinnamon would really love that and when he gets to the countryside he's just like super playful and he's super happy but you know sometimes life pushes you around and for now we are stuck in the city during the day he loves to nap and he loves to sleep a lot we take him outside six or even seven times a day so he gets his exercises i know that there are other hunting dogs that have to be exercised more so if you are really a sporty person and you want to have a lot of activities you maybe have to consider another breed so they are quite chill you know what I mean the best part of the Great Dane is his character and he's really really easy to train and we had some lessons during the dog school sessions where we wanted to learn the basic things about how to teach your dog and actually you have to teach him new stuff every day it never ends so you just have to learn him how to be polite when he's living in the city i have even been in bank institutions and different government buildings and coffee shops and other places that are dog friendly and i haven't had any problems with him because he's super gentle and he will do whatever you tell him to do you really want to make sure that your dog has some fluffy toys around the house and a stick he can chew on he can deal with the bone in less than an hour so you really want to have something around the house that he knows he can bite and chew when we were living in my parents house for one month he tried to chew on the furniture and you have to immediately tell him that it's not okay to do that and he will understand he's just a little puppy and as children they learn and you have to tell him what is right and what is wrong I really allow my Great Dane to sleep on the couch. I rarely allow him to sleep in my bed. He really loves to snuggle with people. And his sleeping habits are really great. When we are going to sleep, he sleeps as well. And he's waking up the same time we are waking up. I bought him a mattress. So he has a separate mattress. And it cost me like 60 euros. But uh, it is a mattress from IKEA and it is a mattress that is meant for children so for now it's still okay but sometimes his legs or head is over the edge of the mattress so after a few months i'm considering to order him a new custom-made mattress and that's the way it goes before getting a great day you really want to think about that these are breeds that have a lifespan of eight to ten years but then you have to be prepared emotionally for that and if you can accept that life 
goes as it goes and that this is an amazing uh, breed then you can try to prepare yourself for the fact usually i'm spending hundreds to 150 euros per month on food and i like to mix the food i really give him a lot of flesh a lot of beef pork chicken turkey all the sub products everything i just boil it down a little bit and then i mix it with the prefabricated food we are currently eating sam's field and i find it okay i'm also a fan of dairy products so basically i'm giving him a lot of products that i am eating myself if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a dog you should get a smaller dog. The puppy of a Great Dane can vary and it can cost from 1000 euros to 3000 and even more. And don't try to save the money because raising a Great Dane is pretty expensive so that's why the puppy costs a lot of money. It is not a cheap puppy. Sometimes people get to ask me oh my god this dog is eating a lot of food. It's quite true because <laughs> every day Cinnamon can eat up to 12 cups of prefabricated food and plus, in addition, I'm giving him different kinds of meat, dairy products and everything I can additionally add to his food. And sometimes I even soak some oats to boost up his digestion because oats have fiber. If you're driving around with a, with a expensive car and you have leather seatings or different expensive fabrics and textures around it's gonna be covered up with fur and saliva and dirt you want to cover up the seating of the car so that's why it doesn't get damaged and you have to remember that he has some really big nails so if you can emotionally and mentally and physically prepare your car for Great Dane it's gonna be awesome. You really want to have a good investigation about the health issues of Great Danes. Great Danes are prone to having bloats and when you don't have the medical help in time it can be really really bad for the dog. You want to give him smaller portions of food but more frequently and you don't want to give him a lot of food and then he's running around the field like crazy so you really need to consider the diet and the exercises and you have to take care of that also cinnamon had two eye surgeries and we were having the cherry eye and his brother also had that so we were having the operations in a week apart and now it's okay but still his eyes kind of red a little bit and this is because of the genetics and the fact that uh, it can happen and you have to be really prepared for that because every thing you do uh, it, when you go to the vet it costs a lot of money i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you got to know something more about the great danes there is a lot a lot of cool moments you will experience together because great danes are really funny dogs and they bring a lot of joy and excitement and i'm really happy that everywhere we are going i see people just have this big smile on their faces as they see the dog and those are old people and children and they just see the dog and they're like super happy and excited because they have never seen a dog like that and it uh, brings some kind of excitement and uh, magic to our everyday life so this dog will definitely be a cool partner in your life and you just need to do your research have a great day